Hi guys, I'm Matt Torx the Seder, and welcome to the channel. If you've ever played Fallout 4, you know that it's already one of the most unique games set in the Fallout franchise. But like every game, over time it can become stale and repetitive. So like a lot of games, Fallout 4 can be further enjoyed through the use of mods. Thankfully, Bethesda decided to add a built-in mod menu in both PlayStation and Xbox. While they're more limited than their PC counterparts, using mods to customize your Fallout experience can be a completely unique experience for the player. So for people wanting to give it a try, I've gathered six of the best mods available to PlayStation consoles. So coming in at number one, we have the Quick Start mod by LBGSHI. This mod fix is one of my least favorite aspects of Fallout 4, which is the incredibly long and unskippable intro sequence, and instead gives the player the option to completely bypass that section of the game, starting it right out when the sole survivor gets out of Vault 11. For number 2 I have the Scrap That Settlement mod by 3LRIC. One of the biggest problems I experience when attempting settlement building is just how ugly some of the trash bushes and even corpses spreaded across your settlements can look. If you face this problem yourself and look no further, this mod allows almost anything, and I mean almost anything within a settlement's borders, to be scrapped for resources as well as to clean up the place. This feature comes in super handy for flattening ground or opening up spaces for your settlements and is a great download for anybody who finds themselves building settlements frequently. At number 3 we have the Sanctuary Estates mod by Madrix. Have you ever seen the Sanctuary Hills residency and wish the sole survivor and the settlers could be living in post-war luxury? Well this mod trades the broken down houses and rusting cars found in the base game and trades them for futuristic homes and beautiful sites. This mod makes sure that Sanctuary lives up to its name, while still keeping the lore-friendly grime on each of the houses and is a must download. For number 4 we have The Cheat Room by Brayden M1. This mod effectively turns Fallout 4 into your own personal sandbox, boasting every item, weapon, or armor available in the game as well as shooting ranges and special spawn rooms. This mod is perfect to test your gear or simply just mess around with the physics of Fallout 4. It even has the possibility to include items that are specific to certain DLCs in the game, provided you install the attachments of the mods. Coming in at number 5, I have the Nordic Research Facility by Vitaplex. This mod does something special in Fallout mods and adds an entirely new dungeon into the game. Found in the ruins of an old office building near Cambridge Labs, the Nordic Research Facility boasts its own dungeon mechanics and lore surrounding the building. As the sole survivor, you'll get to uncover the secrets hidden within the facility while fighting the dangers within. And finally, at number 6, and my personal favorite, we have the Pine Needle Rest Player Home by the Dog of War. By looting the key of a discarded raider and sailing the boat across the river, the sole survivor gets transported into a stunning player home like no other. This house comes equipped with all the storage you could ever want, customization of a floor and paint options, and unique and special lore. Solve the mystery of Pine Needle Rest as you restore the power to the estate and cover all that it has to offer. As always guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe because YouTube tells me that over 99% of my viewers aren't subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next video.